everyone and welcome to my java program tutorial in this video we will do an example on stack so here is a question write a method equals that take uh, that takes a parameter of two stack of integers and returns true so from the very first line of this question we have to identify what is our return type and what are the things we are accepting from users so there are two stacks and it has mentioned that there are two uh, like take two stacks of integers as parameters like this is the input you are getting from the user of as and what you have to return is true or false and that means the return type is boolean if the two stacks are equal and returns false otherwise so we, our task is we need to check two stacks whether those two stacks are equal or not to be considered equal the two stacks would have to store the same sequence of integer values in the same order. Your method is to examine the two stacks but must return them to their original state before terminating. You may use one stack as an auxiliary storage. So it means we can create an extra stack. Remember the backup stack we have to create whenever you are checking um, or working with the stacks. And and our task is simple we just have to go through the both of the stacks and we have to check whether they are equal comparing their values and your method is, um, and they would store the same sequence of integers in the same order so if one stack has more values than the other it means they are not equal and we have to return four. Okay, so let's open eclipse what we have is uh, so this is my class i created a class public class equal uh, let's write the main method public starting square brackets arguments and inside what we will do is create two stacks and pass or call our method so our task is this is none of your tasks this is you have to do is just to test your method if the method is right our task is to create a math static method public static uh, return type is boolean because we have to return true and false method name is equal and what we are accepting is we are accepting two stack of integers so this is how you accept two stack of integers capital i give it a name let's say s1 comma uh, then i have another stack of integer and give it a name as s2 and now inside okay so i have a typo over here at static okay so there will be um, an error for the return and first of all this error I think is on the util package import java.util star and semicolon so that we don't have to face further issues right now the error will be that your method should return something right now when if you don't write the return keyword in your method right now it will keep giving you an error after you have completed your code and the error is still there then you have to figure those error out so now what you have to do is we have written the first part we have two stack s1 and s2 and there was a statement that we can create a third stack which is an auxiliary storage because we need to back up this two stacks so s3 equals to new stack and use this is the new stack of integer open close parenthesis and semicolon okay now we have a third stack which is kind of our backup stack we have s1 and s2 so we need to go through the stack both of s1 and s2 and check whether they are equal compare their values and return true and false so if as we are returning true and false we need a variable name uh, variable boolean which will keep track whether the two values are equal or not okay so over here we if the values are not equal we will not use the return keyword and return because you need to make sure that both of the stacks are in the same order before returning maybe your stack have 100 values and after 50 values you can the answer is like false and they are not equal you cannot stop the code you need to you have to stop the loop and make sure that you return because this backup stack which is s3 is holding your rest of the 50 values so you need to make sure that this s1 and s2 come back to their original form and then you return this same who is keeping track if the values are true or false uh, they are equal or not so now what we will do is we will write our while loop while because we we have to go through the we have to go through both of the stacks and to go through both of the stack we are using while and in while we will write same that as long they are true because if at any point they the values are not equal we will set the same as false 
and this loop will stop so because if we just identify that after 10th value or like 20th value values are not equal you need to stop the loop you don't have to check rest of the 80 values or maybe 100 more values right so same and we will use this and operator to make sure that your code must stop if any of these three conditions which we are writing is false and we, the, the second one is dot is um, s1 is empty is the method I will call as long and as you can see I have written not so dot is empty as long any of it is not empty don't forget to put the explanation mark which means not operator so we'll run this loop as long the same is true and s1 is not empty and s2 is not empty this means if any of the stack is emptied before the second stack the code will stop so if the code is stop it means one of the st stack is empty okay so while um, now inside of this loop what we have to do is how to check two stacks you need to pop out the values from s1 and s2 and as you are popping out don't forget to pop push in to s3 back those values so you need two variables in value one equals to s1 dot pop in value two equals to s2 dot and don't forget to say s3 dot push and i will write the value one first okay so this is important like which value you are pushing first into your stack because you need to bring the values back in the same order so don't mess up the values for stack one and stack q so after taking those two values from the stack and pushing the values back and making sure they are back up now you will check if value one okay so your condition will be not equals to value two because if they are equal then we just need to loop through like you just need to go over if they are not equal it means same will be equals to false if uh, will run if the value is not equal otherwise uh, your loop is done there is nothing else in the loop what we will do is outside of the loop what you have to do is you have to confirm your same equals to as long your same is same and and operator your s1 is empty dot is empty because this and operator will exit if first stack is empty maybe your second stack have more values so this is the part you need to make sure by uh, writing this third statement as two dot is empty like both of the stack is empty right now and if this is true that this is empty this is true that this is empty and same is still true it means your same is true but if one of the two values were not equal your same is set to false and your S1 is empty, S2 is empty, but your same is false, your answer will be false because there was one value which were not equal. You will not return same at this point. Remember, you need to back up your stack 1, S1 and S2. So as you have seen, I added value 1 first uh, over here. Value 1 first in my stack and then value 2. So when it comes to pop the value out, what I will do is, so I will call stack 2 first. So s2 dot push and it will be s3 dot pop as there is nothing else I have to do with those values so I will just directly push those values back into my stack s1 dot push s3 so as you remember it was values were alternating so my stack 1 is back and stack 2 is back these are two values it's just one statement so you need to write those two values inside of your while loop while s3 is not empty s3 is not empty so don't forget the explanation mark and both of these statements goes inside of your um, curly braces and after this while loop is done so this is your if statement this is your uh, major while loop is done outside of this while loop you will return c just like this now your error is gone which was blinking at the top right over here on the left side uh, the error is gone and this is your code so far what we have done is uh, we are comparing two stack of integers s1 and s2 in the question there was mentioned that you can create a third stack which will be your backup stack and i created a variable named true uh, a boolean which is was set as true then i run my loop on 
S1 and S2 as long my both of the stacks are not empty and value of same is true then I pop the two values from both of the stack one by one and I make sure that they are backed up and then I compare those two values and set my uh, same equals to false if they are not equal at any point this will stop my loop if they are not equal and it will count come outside and what it will do is it will say same equals to update my same boolean variable so that just to confirm that all these three conditions are met uh, then at the end before returning you need to put the values back into their original form and then return same at the very end okay so now let's go to our main method and create a stack of integers so I created two stack s1 and s2 now let's add the values to add the values uh, you will say s1 dot push and let's add two then s1 dot push uh, just add just a couple of random values okay so now I will copy these three values Control C and Control V and I will say s2 on every statement on the last three statements so there are three values in each of my stack and they are same so 235 and 235 same in my uh, method so I will call system dot out it will be equal method because as we have written the static method so it will be s1 comma s2 equal and now run it should return true and the answer is true so let's change one of the numbers let's change 3 to 8 and this should return false because we just need to test all the conditions so it is false and one more thing you can do is to test is 235 and 23 and let's remove the last value from s2 so it means 23 and 23 are same but just s1 has some extra value it should return false because if the size is uneven it should return false so that's it for the stack example this is how you do stack um, Thank you. Bye-bye.